In the previous MedMastery lesson, we discussed the window settings you can apply when viewing CT images to shift the grayscale range, enabling you to see structures of different densities better. In this lesson, we are going to dive deeper into those window settings and how they relate to attenuation values. The window setting refers to two parameters, the window width, which determines the range of grayscale values that the image will display, and the window level, which defines the center point of that range. Both settings are measured in Hounsfield units, or HU. These values correspond to how a tissue blocks x-rays, called the attenuation. By convention, water is zero Hounsfield units, air is negative 1,000, fat is around negative 100, soft tissue is about 50 to 100, and bone can range from 300 or more than 1,000, depending upon how dense it is. Let's apply this to the soft tissue window, where the window width is 400 and the window level, or center point, is 50. This means that the grayscale is spread out over 400 Hounsfield units total, ranging from negative 150 to 250. Everything with a Hounsfield unit value below negative 150 will appear black, and everything with a Hounsfield unit value greater than 250 will appear white. These window settings concentrate the grayscale differences over soft tissue structures. Remember, the center point is 50, right in the soft tissue range. The specific settings in the soft tissue window help us to see relatively subtle but important differences in enhancement or densities of structure like the liver, spleen, pancreas, and kidneys, which help us diagnose different diseases. There are instances when it can be helpful to further adjust the window width to draw out these subtle differences. In this example, the patient has liver masses that are relatively hard to see on the soft tissue window. If we widen the window width, the transition from dark to light structures happens more gradually. This obscures differences in soft tissue and makes them blend together with less definition. But if we narrow the window, the changes in grayscale values occur more abruptly, which emphasizes subtle differences, making it easier to find subtle abnormalities in the soft tissue. In fact, a narrower window is so commonly used for viewing the liver that it is referred to as the liver window. I like to think of the narrow liver window as x-ray vision for radiologists, as it helps you to see abnormalities that are nearly invisible at first glance. Okay, now that we have covered window width, let's discuss window level. Changing the window level or center point essentially makes the whole image brighter or darker. The biggest difference can be seen between the lung and bone windows. When viewing bones, the midpoint is higher because you want the center of your grayscale values to optimize your ability to evaluate denser bone. In this case, the level is about 300 Hounsfield units. When viewing the lungs, the center point must be quite low, around negative 500, because you want the center of your grayscale values to optimize your ability to see air-filled structures. Remember, pure air is negative 1,000 Hounsfield units by convention. Here is an example of the bone, soft tissue, and lung windows of the abdomen in a patient with a hole in the bowel. As a result of this perforation, air is leaking into the abdominal cavity. We can see the free air most confidently using the lung window because the level is centered on air, making the difference between air and soft tissue the most dramatic, literally the difference between black and white. After identifying free air, Evaluating the bowel in the soft tissue window is helpful when trying to find the exact location of the perforation. In summary, the three most common and useful window settings for your image review are soft tissue, bone, and lung. Each setting has a range of grayscale values it displays called the window width and a center point called the window level. You should practice using various window settings to help you get the most from your CT images.